Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Featherstone High School and our virtual open evening. So thank you very much, first of all, for joining us under these strange circumstances, but we do hope we'll be able to give you a very good insight into our school during this presentation. And I'll be talking to you generally about the school. I'll also be asking a few of our students to speak about their experiences at Featherstone, and we'll be taking you on a tour of some lessons. At this time, I'm sure you'll want to know a little bit about our, our COVID uh, adaptations at Featherstone, and I've posted a letter on the website which you can have access to, which tells you uh, everything that we've done to minimise risk. In addition, we'll have some bookable slots available for Zoom meetings with members of the senior leadership team when you're welcome to pose any questions that our presentation may not have answered. So I do hope you find the presentation informative and thank you once more for joining us. As you can see from these quality marks, we've been awarded many, many accolades in recent years. For example, at the end of last year, we were re-accredited with world-class school status. This award is for Ofsted graded outstanding schools whose emphasis on developing personal and social skills and commitment to strong values demonstrates that they have moved beyond outstanding. Our success has meant that we've been given special sponsor status by the DfE, which allows us to access government grants, which fund us to support and share our best practice with other schools through the Multi-Academy Trust, the Grand Union Multi-Academy Trust. Above everything else, we know you'll soon discover that we're a caring school committed to making learning exciting and maximising the achievement of all of our students in all they do. Our maximum admission number into Year 7 is 280 and for the past few years we've been oversubscribed which means we've got more students applying than spaces available. At the end of last term we had over 100 Year 6 students on our waiting list. I'm very fortunate to be supported in the leadership of the school by a very talented senior leadership team. Alongside our three deputy head teachers, we have five assistant heads and together we form the senior team. Our management structure allows a strong focus on the year group. Our heads of year have overall responsibility and would be your first point of contact. We operate 10 tutor groups in each year which keeps our average group sizes relatively small, at 28. In addition, a learning mentor and teaching assistant are attached to each year and provide very valuable support. This strong pastoral structure allows a good relationship to develop between the student and parents. The year is split into two broad ability bands, X and Y. Additional staff are attached to some classes to provide learning support for pupils who require it and setting operates within both bands to ensure our most able students are always challenged and that all pupils experience work suited to their ability. Sets are not rigid and we review them termly. We're very fortunate to have such excellent sports facilities and extracurricular PE clubs are very popular and we'd normally have over 15 sports clubs just for Year 7 students to attend every week, including climbing, football, basketball, netball, rounders and athletics, just to name a few. The Duke of Edinburgh Award is thriving, with around 40 Year 10s participating each year. The most talented sportsmen and women will thrive with us. Over the last two years, we've been Borough Cricket Champions in both Year 9 and Year 10, who were crowned as regional champions also. And as you can see, girls are equally successful. We offer a rich and varied curriculum in Year 7, when students will follow 15 subjects and have a strong emphasis on the core, with 10 English lessons, 10 maths lessons and 8 science lessons over a fortnight. Students begin their GCSE courses at the start of Year 9, and alongside PE and PSHE, all will study for a GCSE in Religious Studies. The vast majority of students now follow the GCSE courses in what are called EBAC subjects, which you can see along the top line in this slide. We want to keep the curriculum broad 
in Year 9, so all students will follow both History and Geography and an Arts subject, along with one other option from the lower table. At the end of Year 9, they can drop one of their options, and by the end of Year 11, pupils should have passed 9, 10 or 11 GCSEs. We have a thriving sixth form with over 400 students on roll. Examination results are very strong and this year nearly 95% of students applied to university and were accepted onto a course of their choice, including Oxford University. This is great testament to the quality of the advice and guidance at Featherstone when we consider the national picture which shows just 50% of students progress on to university from non-selective schools. For those preferring a more vocational pathway, in recent years we've supported several students to access apprenticeships with a range of companies, including Heathrow and Jaguar. That success in university progression is reflected in the most competitive of fields, and this year four A-level students successfully applied to study medicine. Last year two sixth form students were selected from over 1,000 academically able state school students from across the country to be part of a free trip to the USA to get a taste of life at an American university. Both of them were subsequently offered a fully funded scholarship worth over £200,000 to study for their degree in the States. Let's now spend a little bit of time looking at our recent academic achievement and the key measures for judging school performance at GCSE include the percentage of students passing both English and Maths and what is called the Progress 8 measure. You can see here that Featherstone students, shown in the darker blue, significantly outperform national averages in English and Maths. The Progress 8 score measures how well your son or daughter has done in their best eight high-quality GCSEs. And on the right of this slide you can see that the national average is around zero and for Featherstone students it's plus 1.1 which means on average our students achieve over one grade higher in each GCSE than would be seen in similar schools. English and maths I'm sure you will agree are critical subjects and this slide shows them as individual subjects. Featherstone students are again shown by the darker bars here and once more you can see the very positive picture emerging. Both subjects are regularly 10 to 20 percent above the national average. Here we can see how the performance of the most able student also significantly outperforms national averages, that is those achieving grades 7 to 9, the equivalent of the old A and A star grades. Our examination success has meant that in recent years we've received personal letters of congratulations from Theresa May, our former Prime Minister, David Laws, Minister for Education, Sadiq Khan and Boris Johnson. In his letter to me, the former Mayor of London and current Prime Minister described Featherstone as an exceptional London school. Two years ago, the former Prime Minister and Education Secretary decided to come and learn about our school's success for themselves, which, as you can see here, attracted much media interest and resulted in an invitation to 10 Downing Street. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you'll agree that our results are very impressive and there are a number of strategies that we've put in place, many of which are unique to us, in order to support the levels of progress that we see. We operate a staggered day, which means that for three days of the week, only Year 7, 8 and 9 start at 8.30 and finish at 2.15. This reinforces the small school feel to Featherstone, as the older children start later and finish later, and also have different lunch and break periods. All students leave at 2.15 on Wednesday and Friday, freeing up time for staff meetings and training. A typical school day for Year 7 students will involve three double lessons per day, each lasting 90 minutes. This has a distinct advantage over other schools, which typically have five different lessons because we're reducing the movement around school, so more time for learning 
and fewer books to carry around. We are one of very few schools to have been awarded the prestigious ICT mark, a national recognition of our excellence in this area, which of course in the current climate is extremely important. We have an enviable computer ratio of close to one for each pupil and our teachers use the latest digital learning materials. We have class sets of iPads available for students to support the learning experience. During lockdown, we loaned over 300 laptops to families who did not have their own devices available. We are a 24-7 school, which means that pupils and parents can access learning materials at home via our website, which can really accelerate your progress. Our virtual learning environment is called Firefly, and as a parent you will receive a secure password to allow you to log in and access the same information as your child. Each department has its own area to store learning materials within Firefly, and this is an example of the online lesson by lesson materials for Year 7 geography students in their first term studying Southall fieldwork. This is a child's individual page which you as a parent will also have access to. It shows the homework tasks they need to complete, their timetable and a message from their teacher reminding them that they need to complete their homework before the deadline. In addition, you can access other important information like the latest reports, letters, trips of information and so on. There is also a mobile phone app available to make access even easier for you. We really want all our students to enjoy their time at school and to taste success in a range of activities. On occasions we collapse our normal timetable so students can become involved in very different types of activities during what we call our curriculum enrichment days when they might, may find themselves on a trip to a range of the country's most well-known attractions or wading through a river as part of a geography field trip. Each year well over a hundred students will take advantage of some very exciting trips abroad. As a specialist science school, each year we host many high-profile science events. During our annual science week, students meet many exotic creatures including giant snakes and scorpions and have presentations from some of the country's leading scientists. We have a strong desire to celebrate the arts, which includes termly productions and large-scale musicals. Each year around 100 students perform in our Christmas concert and similar numbers will be involved in our musical production and dance festivals. When Prince Charles visited Southall a few years ago, it was Featherstone music students who were asked to welcome him and perform for His Royal Highness throughout his stay. Our house system is now well established and encourages students to work in teams with older and younger children in a wide range of activities to compete for house points. Moving to secondary school can be an anxious time for some children. We recognise this and work closely with primary feeders to ensure that the transfer is a pleasant experience. We have a day in the summer term when just year six are in school exploring the site and having a taster lesson. During the summer holidays we hold a summer literacy and team building camp for many of our new students. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard a lot from me and I'm sure you'll appreciate now hearing a little bit from our students about their experiences at Featherstone High School. And ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Amrick and Amrick's in Hello. 8 King. 8 King, that's right, isn't it, Amrick? Yes. And Amrick, uh, can you remember how, how, how you felt when you joined us last year in Year 7? All my teachers really helped me. They made me feel at ease. And if I had any issues, I felt like I could go to them and say anything. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what your favourite subject was uh, last year? So when I came here, I found out that they taught science here in such a wonderful and away amazing way. Um, mm. Teachers made it really fun as well. They were really kind and supportive. Wow, well, well, that's fantastic to hear. And, and um, was there a particular experiment that you particularly enjoyed, Amrit, that you can remember? Yeah. Um, 
one time we were looking at uh, flower cells through a microscope. Oh, wow. Right. It was really nice seeing all the colours and patterns in it. Right, right. And did you go to any of the science clubs that are on far after school? Yes, I was invited to go to Crest Club, which is like uh, an advanced science club. Right. It was really good and we started thinking of ways of filtering water for, right. for the environment. Right, that, yeah. sounds, that sounds quite complicated. And, <laughs> and was it competition with other schools or was it just, just a project? It was uh, supposed to be a competition to, f with other schools, but due to the circumstances, Crest Club was stopped in the middle. Oh, right, because of the COVID, yeah. yeah. And what about other clubs and activities? Uh, have you enjoyed anything else? Uh, yeah, so uh, when I left year six, I started to play the ukulele. So I, I was really happy to know that they had a ukulele club here. Yeah. So yeah, I joined yeah. it, and the music teacher is amazing and fun. Right, right, okay. So if we had a ukulele here, you'd play us, <laughs> play us a little song. Would you? What would you play us if you were, if you were playing the ukulele? Um, there's an anime opening, I know. Right, right. Like, not really an opening, just a bit of a theme, a uh, nice fast tune. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, it sounds fantastic. I'll look forward to hearing it later. And somebody told me, or you might have told me yourself when we were talking previously that you went to dodgeball is that right yeah dodgeball club so tell us a little about dodgeball club so the teacher splits us all into three or four teams depending on how many people there are and then we have little tournaments against each other right right and and what do you have to do what are the actual rules for of dodgeball when you when you uh, when you have a club yeah. so uh in the middle of the court there would be a line of balls mm -hmm. and um you would be starting at the far end of each right. court. And then once a whistle blows, you have to go and grab one ball and activate it by touching the wall. Yeah. And then once it's activated, if you hit a person with that ball, uh, you get them out. Right, yeah. right. Okay. So that's the basic idea. Yeah, of yeah it sounds fun. No, I, I assume the balls are nice and soft. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Well, thank you very much, Amrit, for, for, for talking to us. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me also introduce you to Ishmeet. Ishmeet's uh, just recently joined us in Year 7, so welcome, Ishmeet. And can you tell us which primary school you went to? I went to Clifton Primary School. To Clifton. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who recognise you. Will, will, is that the case? Will that be the case? Uh, yes. Yes, good. And did you, did you enjoy your time at Clifton? Uh, I did. Yes, it's a great school, isn't it? Great yeah. school. We had a lot of students at Clifton. And can you tell us how you got on during your first few weeks? Um, since I came, I have been... So when I came, I got kind of nervous because of the classrooms. I, I didn't know that I would just be in the bubble, but um, I thought that I would be moving classrooms a lot, so I thought I would get lost or something. But there's, the teachers helped me a lot, um, to, and they showed me which way I would have to go. Uh, and after that, I it turned out to be a smooth transition. Oh, that's fantastic. And um, what, what were the main things that, that, that really helped you and supported you with that transition and made you feel comfortable? Um, one of the things that were that some of my friends came to this school. Great. So I, get, I got to spend time with them because um, for six months we were at home and I didn't get to see any of them. And the teachers, they if you needed help in any of the subjects, um, they would tell you an easy method to follow and you would understand that method easily. Oh, fantastic. And I know it's early days, Ishmeet, but, but are there any particular subjects that you particularly enjoy so um, far? Maths, uh, English, Science and Art. Okay, and if I was to push you a little bit and, and choose one of those subjects, which would it be and, and why? Uh, maths, because it's in, in, in the teachers made it very fun. Great, great, great. It's good to hear. So thank you very much, Ishmeet. And can I introduce Arthur Patel to you? Arthur is um, one of our Year 13 students from last year. Can't be with us this evening, unfortunately. But fortunately for him, he's in Denison University, Ohio, in the United States. And as you'll know from my presentation, Arthur was one of two students here who gained fully funded scholarships to study for a degree in the United States. So thank you, Arthur, for sending us that video clip. Hi, my name is Arthur and I'm currently an international student studying in Ohio, USA at Denison University. I'm studying at one of the top private liberal arts colleges in the USA where I'm taking four classes this semester. Math, Physics, Theatre and English Literature and Language. 
After hours and hours spent on my application, I received a full scholarship of approximately $300,000 to study at this university for four years, which covered up to four meals a day, accommodation, tuition fees, and other expenses. Staff at Featherston were very helpful and at times spent day and night writing recommendations for me to get into this uni. After many rejections, I finally got into university and with very good money too. I'm very grateful to all the staff at Featherston that put in all the hard work for me to receive such an amazing opportunity. And without the encouragement and motivation, there was absolutely no way I could be where I am right now. My high school experience was the best and I miss all my friends, families and teachers back home because being a Featherstone student my whole life, I created way too many amazing memories like performing in concerts and musicals and being in the charity committee and I will never forget those. I thank each and every one of those teachers that helped me to become the person I am today. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, finally, perhaps I can introduce to you Rachel Kumar. And Rachel is from last year's year 13. She joined us seven years ago from Tudor Primary School. She's done exceptionally well in those seven years, doing really, really well in, in our examinations. And perhaps Rachel can now tell us a little bit about how uh, she got on in her A-levels and what, what your next steps are, Rachel. Um, so um, I did biology, chemistry and psychology and I achieved a 1A star and 2 A's and now I'm going off to Lancaster University to study medicine and surgery. That's fantastic to hear and I'm delighted to hear it and, and I remember this time last year Rachel you, you stood on stage for us at our open evening and you shared your dream and aspiration to, to go on and be a doctor and to get to medical school. You shared that with us and I'm delighted to, to, to learn that your dreams come true. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit about what, what's helped you achieve that, that aspiration, that, that challenging goal. Um, so the school has really supported me throughout my whole journey, um, even from year seven onwards. Um, and they have um, an FHS Scholars Club, which I was a part of, and two teachers, Mr. Patterson and Ms. Ludlow, and, and Mr. Sanger and Mr. Thorley, were all involved in um, helping us apply to um, courses such as medicine, dentistry, and to um, Oxford and Cambridge. And they had helped me um, get an interview at um, Cambridge for medicine. Um, and they also held mock interviews and gave us uh, personal support for our, um, our application, so they were really helpful. Great. Well, I'm, I'm pleased, really pleased it's worked out for you, Rachel. If, if you're looking back now on, on those seven years, have, have they flown by? Definitely. The right answer, well done. And if you had to pick out uh, one sort of powerful ex experience that you've had, or, or what, what would it be? Um, the school's offered me lots of opportunities, but if I had to choose one, I think it would be going to Iceland in year 10 with the school. Um, that was amazing. I got to see many waterfalls and uh, visit a black sand beach as well, and it was just something I'll never forget. Um, and I, I was also part of the charity committee and the sports teams that they have at school. Um, and as deputy head girl, I think they, the school helped me um, develop my leadership skills, and they just helped me um, become a better person. And um, help shape me into the person I am today and get um, and help me into getting into medicine too. Thank you very much for sharing all of that with us Rachel and of course we all wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen we're very proud of these students and indeed of all our students and as, as you can see they arrive with great energy and enthusiasm in year seven and that stays with them throughout their time with us. I came across this statement in an educational journal some time ago. It stayed with me and I share it with prospective parents at our open evening because it's something I strongly believe in. Children will pass exams in line with the knowledge and skills gained but will live their lives according to their values. I think it's extremely important that you're aware of the values that we will be promoting at Featherstone High School every day. You'll need to be in full agreement with our values as they're non-negotiable. We are a fully inclusive school and so will focus on the needs of each individual equally and whatever their strengths or weaknesses we'll make sure that all our students taste success and are rewarded for that success. We're a warm and caring school with very committed teachers and support staff who genuinely want to help you with any problems that you or your child may encounter. It's important to us that our students also develop that caring attitude 
towards others in the community in which they live and work. Respect within our community is vital. Students must respect each other and also all adults within our school. We know good behaviour is essential for effective learning to take place. We won't tolerate any forms of bullying, disruption to lessons or rudeness to other members of our community. As part of our caring attitude, we will challenge students appropriately if they don't meet our high expectations. We are committed to the belief that parents are crucial partners and will keep you regularly informed of progress. It's our expectation that you will support us where there are difficulties and that you will also share in celebrating your son or daughter's numerous successes over the years. It is together that we achieve. Traditional values of working hard, taking pride in one's appearance and good manners are, I believe, essential for success at Featherstone High School. And I believe that if we work together, there's no limit to what our young people can achieve. This is a tremendous time to be at Featherstone. We've got an exciting future mapped out, and I do hope that you choose to be part of that future. Thank you very much for joining us today and for listening to our presentation.